A plane flying horizontally at a speed of 50 meters per second and at an elevation of 160 meters drops a package. Two seconds later, it drops a second package. How far apart will the two packages land on the ground? For this problem, we have to understand that when the objects are dropped from the plane, I apologize for my drawings, they're not that great, but here is our plane here. It's going to drop a package at a time t equals zero seconds, and then later on at a time of t equals two seconds, it drops a second package. Now we remember that objects fall with the same acceleration on the on Earth. So they're both falling with an acceleration due to gravity of magnitude g. Now the question is how far apart do they land on the ground? So if this is the ground down here, this is our ground level, when this first object is dropped, it is still moving with the velocity of the plane in that direction as well as the second package so if the plane has an initial velocity of v naught and the package has a velocity also of v naught when it's being dropped out it'll fall straight down with no it's going to be dropped so it's going to have no initial vertical velocity but it's going to have the same horizontal velocity as the plane so in the two seconds that crate is below the plane still but of at some different height below it it has fallen a certain amount of time but it's still beneath it it's still there so the question is what happens when these when these actually land on the ground so when t is going to infinity so we're going on to a, like very long afterwards because we're not sure what time they're actually going to fall and hit the ground we don't actually even have to calculate that out to understand how far apart these are going to fall. When these are going to hit the ground, one, one of the crates is going to wind up here, and the second crate is going to wind up here. We want to know this distance between the two of them, this distance x. If you understand that as they're falling, they're going to both follow projectile motions that are going to be exactly the same. So if that's true, the one crate is going to be here, and it's going to fall like this, and the second crate being dropped a little bit two seconds later is also going to follow a path, and it's going to land some certain distance away here. Say two seconds later, and it's going to fall, and it's going to land over here. Now, the thing is, as these are falling, they're both moving with the same horizontal velocity. So by the time the first block hits, this one is still going to move for another two seconds because it dropped two seconds later so two more seconds after this one this crate will also hit the ground in that two seconds it's going to move with the same horizontal velocity that it initially had so this distance here is just two seconds times the velocity that the plane initially had the velocity of the plane initially is 50 meters per second so 50 meters per second times the additional two seconds that the second crate is going to fall for in terms of the first crate it will go an extra 100 meters away so our answer for this question is a the distance between the packages when they land on the ground is 100 meters